Hare Krishna. Um, welcome yeah. to our discussion. Thank you for joining us. Today we're reading from the third canto, second chapter, text 26. Um, before we start, we'll recite the Narayanam Namaskritya prayers, which is 1, 2, 4 in the Bhagavatam. Um, one, I shall... 2, 4 means canto 1. Yeah, canto 1. Yeah. Chapter 2. I'm sure they know that. Okay, um, yeah, and uh, I'm facilitating. Um, we rotate the facilitation uh, between ourselves and, and today is my turn. So, um, and please, um, if you want, you can join in by pausing the video um, at the relevant places and doing your own understandings and your own responses. Uh, so, uh, thank you again, and we'll start now. Tato nanda vrajam ita Tato nanda vrajam ita Pitra kamsad Bibit yata, Pitra kamsat bibit yata, Eka dasha samas tatra, Eka dasha samas tatra, Udarchi sa balo vasat, Udarchi sa balo vasat. Thereafter, his father, being afraid of Kamsa, brought him to the cow pastures of Maharaj Nanda, and there he lived for eleven years like a covered flame with his elder brother Baladev. Please repeat. Thereafter, his father, being afraid of Kamsa, thereafter his father, being afraid of Kamsa, brought him to the cow pastures of Maharaj Nanda. Brought him to the cow pastures of Maharaj Nanda. And there he lived for eleven years like a covered flame. And there he lived for eleven years like a covered flame. With his elder brother Baladev. With his elder brother Baladev. Purport. There was no necessity of the Lord's being dispatched to the house of Nanda Maharaj out of fear of Kamsa's determination to kill him as soon as he appeared. It is the business of the Asuras to try to kill the Supreme Personality of Godhead or to prove by all means that there is no God or that Krishna is an ordinary human being and not God. Lord Krishna is not affected by such determination of men of Kamsa's class. But in order to play the role of a child, he agreed to be carried by his father to the cow pastures of Nanda Maharaj, because Vasudev was afraid of Kamsa. Nanda Maharaj was due to receive him as his child, and Yashodamai was also to enjoy the childhood pastimes of the Lord. And therefore, to fulfill everyone's desire, he was carried from Mathura to Vrindavan, just after his appearance in the prison house of Kamsa. He lived there for 11 years and completed all his fascinating pastimes of childhood, boyhood and adolescence with his elder brother, Lord Baladev. His first expansion, Vasudev's thought of protecting Krishna from the wrath of Kamsa is part of a transcendental relationship. The Lord enjoys more when someone takes him as his subordinate son who needs the protection of a father than he does when someone accepts him as the Supreme Lord. He is the father of everyone and he protects everyone. But when his devotee takes it for granted that the Lord is to be protected by the devotee's care, it is a transcendental joy for the Lord. Thus, when Vasudev, out of fear of Kamsa, carried him to Vrindavan, the Lord enjoyed it. Otherwise, he had no fear from Kamsa or anyone else. So I'm just going to do the recap. Uh, we always, what we did, little, just the last thing we did yesterday. Um, so the last sentence we did is the penultimate sentence, beginning like this. He is the father of everyone, and he protects everyone. But when his devotee takes it for granted that the Lord is to be protected by the devotee's care, <laughs> it is a transcendental joy for the Lord. So the Lord, we, um, the last response we did it was a so what. And so what was that? We should understand that it's not enough to achieve liberation. Um, that doesn't give Krishna so much pleasure. I mean, it's nice for us to just get liberation, but it's not the most pleasing. The most pleasing is when we really, um, can I, mature our love for Krishna to the point where um, we can really feel that um, we want to take care of Krishna. And this isn't something we should artificially do. We were talking about that, that as long as we're sadhikas, um, it would be sahaja for us to think, oh, I, I want to take care of Krishna. We're, we're supplicants at this point. Mm. But having achieved liberation, that's not enough. We need to go further. Uh, we need to go to you know, achieve 
this pure love which actually we want to take care of Krishna. Okay. You want to carry on? Yes. So today we're doing the very last sentence of the purport. Thus, when Vasudev, out of fear of Kamsa, carried him to Vrindavan, the Lord enjoyed it. Otherwise, he had no fear from Kamsa or anyone else. Thus, so I'm doing the word thus. So thus here, as that means, for the reasons I've just explained above. So there are some of the reasons he's explained. I'll just let you understand that so far. So you're just saying, uh, Prabhupada connecting this sentence with the word thus to the previous sentence, things he's just stated. Yes. And the, the things he's just stated is that uh, in all the previous paragraph in the entire paragraph, is that you know, Krishna is not frightened of Kamsa, he's not frightened of anyone, you know. And, uh, but he did this just to reciprocate the love, the parental love of um, Vasudev. And because, you know, he had promised um, uh, Yashoda and Nanda in their previous life that he would become their son. So for these reasons, it was just not out of fear of Kamsa, but out of um, desire to reciprocate the love of Vasudev, Yashoda and Nanda. It was for that reason. So for all those reasons, that's what the word thus is saying to me. Okay, so um, thus, you understand, is indicating um, what he just previously said, and that is that Krishna is not afraid of anyone. He's certainly not fearful of Kamsa, uh, nor indeed anyone, anyone at all. Um, and uh, he's merely reciprocating with his devotees. So when he allows himself to be taken, you know, as if afraid uh, from uh, Mathura to Vrindavan, it's because he wants to reciprocate with the parental love of Vasudev and Devaki. Thank you. You understood me perfectly. When Vasudev, out of fear of Kamsa, carried him to Vrindavan. Okay, there was fear, but it was in Vasudev's heart. Vasudev was thinking... Kamsa might hurt my son. Kamsa will, might kill my son. So because Vasudev was feeling this parental fear for Krishna, he, um, you know, he kind of like uh, whisked him away, carried him away to Vrindavan. Okay. Um, yeah, so when you did, you did this section, thus when Vasudev out of fear of Kamsa. Uh, so there was fear involved in this um uh, episode, but it was not in Krishna, it was Vasudev. He was afraid um, of what Kamsa might do. Yes, you, you understood really well. And his fear was not for himself, but his fear was a parental fear. He was saying, Kamsa might hurt my son, Kamsa mm. might hurt my little baby. So it was a transcendental fear. It was, it was not like Kamsa may hurt me, it was Kamsa might hurt Krishna. Mm. And um, even Vasudev's fear was a part of his rasa, his transcendental love for the Lord, um, because he was afraid that the that Kamsa would attack Krishna and harm him in some way. Um, so Vasudev, he was exhibiting this fatherly affection, this, which is actually a transcendental rasa. Yes, thank you. So it was out of this transcendental fear that Vasudev took Krishna to Vrindavan, and uh, the Lord enjoyed it. The Lord really liked the journey. He loved being, you know, he loved it when uh, Vasudev wrapped him up and put him in that little basket and carried him through the night, you know, and in the rain and the thunder and across the water. Krishna was having a whale of a time. He, he says the Lord enjoyed it because he was, because he was enjoying that, that feeling that God is worried for me. Kams and not Kamsa, but Vasudev loves me like a father. He was enjoying that love, not the um, adventure of going through the night, but he was enjoying, um, relishing Vasudev's love for him. Vasudev loves me so much, he's frightened for me. Look how much endeavor he's taking to carry me through this dark night, through the thunder and across this river. Krishna was really enjoying Vasudev's love. Mm. So, um, and um, when the uh, Vasudev carried him to Vrindavan, the Lord enjoyed it. So you're saying that um, the Lord was uh, relishing Vasudev's love for him. Um, and, you know, when he carried him uh, over the Jamuna in, in the, you know, the storm and with the fierce waves of the Jamuna and everything all around, um, thunder and lightning and everything. And the Lord was enjoying that. He was enjoying Vasudev's um, exhibition 
a fatherly love, thinking I, I've got to protect my son. I've got to take him quickly to Brindarban before Kamsa finds out that I've gone and comes after me or something. So the Lord was really enjoying that. Yeah. Thank you. You understood perfectly. Otherwise, he had no fear from Kamsa or anyone else. So otherwise, it's like, if it wasn't for Vasudev's love, you know, that's what I said. Otherwise, if it wasn't for the fact that Krishna was enjoying Vasudev's paternal love for him. Otherwise, so if it wasn't for this fact that uh, Krishna was um, relishing the paternal Vatsalya Rasa love of uh, Vasudev. Thank you, you understood me perfectly. He had no fear from Kamsa or anyone else. So what I said, Prophet is really saying is that he, well, he didn't have to run away from Kamsa. He's not frightened of Kamsa. He's not frightened of anyone. You know, he's not running away because he didn't go to Mathura because he he was fearful of Kamsa. Kamsa's nobody for him. Nobody can hurt him. He, he's not he's not fearful of anyone. That's not the reason he went to Mathura uh, to Vrindavan. It wasn't fear. It was he was relishing Vasudev's love. Mm. So, um, otherwise he had no fear from Kamsa or anyone else. So basically you're saying, um, you, you understand that uh, the Lord um, was not afraid that that wasn't the, the reason, you know, um, that he was being carried, that he was being taken away from uh, Kamsa. Uh, you know, he was just enjoying the loving exchange with Vasudev. You understood me perfectly and I have nothing else to say in understanding. Thanks. Um, yeah, I, I don't have anything to add. Uh, do you have a response? No. Okay, so we need to move on. Okay. Text 27. I'll just read the Sanskrit sure. uh, myself. Parito vatsapaya vatsams charayan vyaharat vibhu imuno pavane kujat dvija sankuli tangripe. In his childhood, the Almighty Lord was surrounded by cowherd boys and calves, and thus he travelled on the shore of the Yamuna River through gardens densely covered with trees and filled with vibrations of chirping birds. Please repeat. In his childhood, the Almighty Lord was surrounded by cowherd boys and calves. In his childhood, the Almighty Lord was surrounded by cowherd boys and calves. And thus he travelled on the shore of the Yamuna River. And thus he travelled on the shore of the Yamuna River. Through gardens densely covered with trees. Through gardens densely covered with trees. And filled with vibrations of chirping birds. And filled with vibrations of chirping birds. So I'm just going to read. Only